Yeah, hey, what's up you guys? This is Gasson, and I just wanted to make a quick video because a lot of people are asking me how do I record. So I wanted to send this video out there. I will be making more videos of gameplay coming up soon, but I uh, just wanted to do this and show you guys how do I record and how do I edit my videos. Uh, basically what I'm using is a program called Display Recorder. This is uh, probably the best method to use right now. Uh, I'm not sure why Apple doesn't have you know apps like this, but you, in order to get this, you do have to jailbreak. Uh, there are other methods to get recording devices without jailbreaking. You know where you could just put it up to your PC and use uh, programs like Camtasia. But the method that I use is a jailbroken method. Once you jailbreak, you'll get this program called Cydia, and in there, it allows you to get this app called Display Recorder. So once you have that, if you're going through with uh, my method, uh, these are the settings that I'm going to be using. If you want to copy that, and this uh, using copying my settings will allow you to get these finger gestures right here while I play. So those are really cool. And those are my settings if you guys want to copy that. And once you, once you record your gameplay, you're going to go in here and it'll have all your files saved. And once you click on your videos, it'll let you save to your um, camera roll. And from your camera roll, once you save it as your video, you're going you're gonna to need to get a program called WinS, WinSCP. Um, and what that does is it allows you to connect your iDevice to your computer using your Wi-Fi address. What Your iDevice and your computer are going to be connected to the same uh, Wi-Fi address, and then that lets you uh, export your media onto your PC. I'll go ahead and show you uh, more in-depth details on how to do that. Also guys make sure before you start recording you double click the home button and close Clash of Clans before you hit that record button because if you don't do that then you'll have video but there won't be any sound. Okay so let's say for example you have your uh, display recorder app going and you've already recorded your footage and you've put it onto your camera roll on your iDevice. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to get a program called WinSCP, and that is going to look like this. This little thing right here. Once you have that, what you're going to do is it'll let's let, wait for it to load up here. Uh, once it's, once you have this program, what you're going to do is you're going to put in your um, your Wi-Fi address or your address whatever your phone is using. I showed you that on the uh, on the video it's gonna look like this hold on you can actually go in settings and then you're gonna go to your Wi-Fi and then you're gonna push this little blue arrow and it'll tell you your IP address right here so once you get that IP address you're gonna punch that in here let's see so mine is one nine two it always changes. It's never the same, so it doesn't matter if I put this out there. Dot one dot two five, and then what you're gonna put right here for username, you're gonna put root r o o t, and then Alpine is the password. A l p i n e, and then you're gonna hit log on. <clears throat> now you make sure when you do this there um, there's an icon that's gonna be that's gonna say SSH you have to make sure that's on for this to work so once you're in this it's gonna load up and then you're gonna go here you're gonna click that arrow up you're gonna go to mobile you're gonna go to media DCIM and the last thing is you're gonna go to the the highest number for your Apple. This is going to have all your uh, videos. So you go in here and then this is what your videos are going to look like. Actually I don't have any videos in here but it's going to look it's going to look different from your pictures. It's going to have a quick time kind of logo. You'll know the difference once you get it. But once you get the video you're going to grab it bring it out and then you're going to hit copy now with videos it might take a lot longer because they're bigger files. That's pretty much how you put your videos onto your PC. 
and the videos will look kind of funny they will actually look um, sideways because you're recording off of your device and it does matter how you re how you hold your device the way the video is going to come out sometimes it might be upside down but it's going to look like this it's going to have black bars on the side but once you do that what you're going to do is you're going to let's see if I can take this in here I use a program called Sony Vegas I put it in here this is exporting it into your program this is where I record it's going to load up and let me explain this to you guys this is really important or else um, your videos won't show up once you have your video inside see it's already set because I have the settings set but once you once you put your video inside you're gonna right click it you're gonna go to switches and you're gonna go to disable and that allows you to see it once it's rendered because if you just uh, render your video as it is right now it just be a black screen you won't see anything so you're gonna hit that switches and then disable and then what I like to do I like to go over here to uh, sharpen and I put a medium on it like so and I also like to boost the color up so I put a saturation boost this gives it more of a colorful in-depth kind of look so I do that and let me show you the let me show you my render settings and my property settings go ahead and copy this if you want um, I usually have it set to this right here. Uh, where is it? This one right here. 1080, 60i. That one. You're going to leave all this as it is. And that's pretty much everything. Make sure you copy that as it is. Apply it. To get rid of these black bars right there, you're going to go here and you're going to click that off, hit OK. It'll stretch the video. And this is my render settings right here. <clears throat> this is a lot of work. I understand that. Um, I'm actually doing all of my video editing on a laptop without a mouse, so I'm just using my hand. <laughs> As soon as I save up, I could get a PC or something, but this is what I'm doing. And this is my render settings right here. I go to There's different templates. I'm using a uh MP4 template. Main custom settings. So you're going to go in here and it's going to look like this. I use a 7 HD 720p or sorry, 1280 by 720. That's what you're going to use. Make sure you copy everything as it is right there. And this is the last thing I changed. I changed this to 20. So I understand this is a lot of info. Uh, if you guys want to look over this video again and slow it down so you get to see all the stuff that I'm, I'm using, go ahead. And I'll just show you really quickly how I add my characters in here. Like, for example... So I'll take like a funny face or something and I'll put them in. So this is actually how I use, um, this is how I edit my, my uh, pictures and stuff. I'll go here and I'll zoom in and this is actually called masking. Uh, you can mask your characters and do really cool things with them masking and cropping so I use a little pen tool let's see where it is so yeah you just click around and that basically cuts out the the exterior part of the image and then like the little positions right here you can position how you want it see does little things like that so I'm just showing you guys how I record and what I edit is how I edit. So it is a lot of work and it's very time consuming, but um, just a, just a response on how I record and edit my stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed that.
And I will be making more videos coming up soon. So I hope you guys stay tuned. Godson out.